Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to restore a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet back to its default state. Now, unfortunately, with the exception of, say, making a new sheet or something like that, there's no real way to return the cells in the sheet back to their original size, unless you understand how Excel works. Now, no matter how much you fill up your spreadsheet, it's always going to have cells on the sides and on the bottom that are their original size. And we're going to use that to our advantage. So here I am inside of Excel, and I'm going to mess with the column widths here a little bit. So we'll size that one up, and we'll size this one down a little bit, and we'll make this one really big. So we want to get all of these back to normal, but unless we really want to just kind of guess and be okay with that, the only way to do it is to actually completely delete those columns. And what Excel is going to do is it's going to remove the column altogether, move the columns to the side of it in, so kind of fill in that gap, and then rename them so that instead of, say, I delete G, it's not going to be named H when H moves in. It's going to rename H G and then rename everything on down the line. So it kind of happens pretty quick, but that's really what's going on behind the scenes. To get this to work, I'm going to come up to this uh, Windows uh, Office button here, and we're going to go to Excel Options. If you click on the Customize tab, this allows you to put commands into the little bar on the top of your screen. And you can see I've put these two commands, Delete Columns and Delete Rows. And this is different than deleting the information out of them. This is actually going to delete the entire column. So I'm going to select the columns that I've changed, so A through G, and we're going to click the Delete Columns button. And if you watch really quick, the columns deleted, the new ones moved into place, and it renamed them all. So the columns that we have were unchanged because they were on the sides of the sheet. And in effect, we've resized the cells back to their original state. And as you saw, this will work with columns, rows, anything that you needed to do. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to restore a Microsoft Excel sheet back to its original formatting. If you've got any other questions, please contact me at josiah at jraystudios.com. I'm Josiah Ray.